Why are you running, miss? Madam? Sorry, I, I forgot the subtitles. Carrier. Okay, I thought she was just seeing things. It, she saw something, alright. <laughs> I want to see Ultraman fighting this thing now. This, 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 that'd be funny. How did how did she she get it of all people? Oh, she didn't get it. <laughs> she saw nothing. <laughs> I want to be more like that old lady, you know. Just despite the world's problems, just happy with your tea. I don't even know if there's a threat or not. Like it. But <laughs> Like, what is it? How is that even physically possible? They all aimed in the middle. So how does that happen? Stay as you are. I could have read it there, actually. He's been acting more like Ryumon, <laughs> if that makes sense, he's a lot more serious. So it is a threat then. <laughs> well, it's basically a mini dragon. It's not going to shoot it. He can't tell them. He knows, but he can't tell them. He's got a good reason. Oh, you have no idea. They're gonna have to do it with uh, Asumi. Right. So maybe it was created there or it crashed there? Let me guess, it reaches the ore and it gets bigger. And then Ultraman fights it. It's gonna go wrong. Oh, 
That's very good advice for life in general. See how much they, they've grown as a team. These two used to argue with each other so much in the first three episodes. Now look, Ryumon especially has grown a lot because he wasn't like he wasn't like this before. He has two faces. Well, I mean, Asami's now in the right place, but he's, they still can't get it. I don't know why they were happy about shooting it because it dropped into... Oh, look, my prediction. It gets bigger. Wow. <laughs> anyway, when they shot it, it fell into the ore. So, like, it's pretty obvious they're in trouble. Wait, 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 wait. Thought he wasn't fixed. Since when was he fixed? Well, that's good timing. That's very lucky timing. Bro, literally about five seconds, five, five minutes ago, Hanajiro was not fixed. Now he's fixed. <laughs> I have never seen this monster, but if it's been in previous shows, please let me know. <laughs> to be fair, like I thought it would turn into like a giant ball. I was wrong about that. <laughs> Transform! Oh no, he's thrown Dwayne Johnson. So how does he explain how he survived? Like he hid behind the rock the whole time or what? I feel like that was so obvious because like they're in a field, they're an open field. Asami got crushed by a rock and from under the rock came Deku. <laughs> that was the most obvious transformation ever. See, this thing looks like if, if Red King was actually red and had two heads, basically. Right. That is not good. It's a really cool suit. Is it just him now? Or is the other guy still still like giving him the powers? I'm just curious. I mean the other guy must be gone anyway, so. I'm surprised it's still standing to be fair. That monster's got uh, some strength. Honestly, that's one of my favorite Ultraman suits. Like, it's that good. There he is. Hi guys, I survived. Yes. <laughs> it feels weird when Ryomon does it. Because <laughs> he's done it for the first time. <laughs> Ryomon has, uh... Has grown so much, man. It's, 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 it's amazing to see. Something happened. Why are they investigating him? For what? What? What did he do? No, no. Oh, I, I knew it. I literally like, like five seconds ago, maybe like at this point. When they're zooming in on him, I realized, oh, they're going to do a Nexus. They're going to do a Nexus. It's cliffhanger time. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Why have they stopped it there? Oh, that was, that was good. That was a good episode. That was a good episode, but they had to stop it there. You could have saved that for next week. Ah, uh, <laughs> That was a good episode. Uh, it wasn't as good as last week, but last week was crazy. <laughs> uh, that was an interesting episode um, dealing with uh, Asami a week after. Well, it's a week for us, but like for him, I don't know, maybe. I don't know what the timeline is exactly, but I assume like it's very close to that battle just that just happened. Asami clearly had a uh, mental block uh, after what happened in, in you know, the previous battle. Um, which didn't allow him to take down the creature. Also, I thought that creature was quite interesting. I've never seen that creature before, but like when it was a little ball, it was actually quite, uh, it's actually quite funny. I, I would have wondered like what it would have been like if they, if Ultraman fought a giant ball. That, that'd be. I guess we might get that with the spear. <laughs> There'll be like a big spear at some point. I'm sure we'll see it <laughs> near the end of the show. Um, but yeah, obviously, Asami, after what happened, obviously had a lot on his mind and. Uh, 
Ryomon and uh, Ichika. Is that, I keep forgetting, I keep mispronouncing her name. Uh, but they, they got him back there mentally. He just wasn't there. And uh, while, while he was out, while he was down and out mentally, his teammates were there to pick him up. And uh, that's great growth because uh, I think it was, was it episode one or episode two? They were doing like training, right? I think it was episode two. And then uh, Asami and Ryomon had this big argument in the uh, in the forest and Ichika was one who like really like broke it up but like Re if you look at how Ryomon was was back then during that argument and how Asami was it was a whole different dynamic in uh, in this episode like in, in the middle of the episode where Asami was just you know he's usually the positive happy guy and he just wasn't his head just wasn't there he wasn't in the zone but Ryomon he was the one who motivated him uh, I, I just thought that was quite interesting because it shows like it's showing how it's affecting Asami, what just happened, but it's also showing how much Ryomon has grown. He's he's changed so much as a character, and uh, yeah, that, that's great to see as well. Even though the episode is mainly about Asami and how he's, you know, how it's how he's been affected and how he's changed with the team, it's also partly about how Ryomon has grown as a character because you know, really thought we we saw a lot of. Uh, the great side of Ryamon in this. But yeah, that was a good episode. That was a good episode. Uh, the battle was cool as well. Uh, I love dynamic mode. Dynamic mode looks so cool. <laughs> that final form is incredible. I think I like it more than any trigger suit. Any trigger suit and any uh, Z suit as well. I'm saying those two because those are the two modern shows I actually watched. Uh, my first show I ever watched was Ultraman Z. And I watched Trigger, obviously. Um, in terms of the modern shows, the three that I've watched, that was the best suit I've seen. That was That's, that's a really cool final form. So, uh, yeah, 16 episodes. There's nine left. Time is flying by too fast, uh, but I really look forward to next week. I want next week right now because that cliffhanger was crazy. Anyway, yeah, um, this is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.